Well, we'll move along to the 7,700 pound super stock tractors. We'll introduce our drivers. And from Dupo, Illinois, driving the executor. How about Gilbert Hofstetter? From Valmeyer, Illinois, driving the hyperactive Bob Schilling. From Cynthiana, Ohio, driving the Maybe So, here's Jonathan Mears. And out of Zuni, Virginia, driving the Mechanical Bull, here's Thurman Mumford Sr. Out of Bushnell, Illinois, a fistful of dough, Daryl Bedwell. And out of Connersville, Illinois, Indiana, that is, the afterburner, here's Gary Gettinger. Gary Gettinger. All right. Pulling eighth this evening from Milton, Indiana, driving the Up and Adam. Here's Neil Gittinger. Pulling ninth in the lineup tonight from Springfield, Ohio, driving the, pl the Plowboy's Nightmare. Here's Dewey Kerr, Jr. Pulling tenth this evening from Strawberry Plains, Tennessee, driving a tractor called the Hook. And here's Robert Galloway. Out of Oblong, Illinois, driving the squealer, hey, here's Daryl Meese. From Franklin, Indiana, the Hoosier Deer Man, Tom Casting. Out of Cary, Ohio, driving the Ford known as Lethal Injection, here's Denny Hayford. And rounding out this stellar class from Decorah, Iowa, driving Woody, here's Marvin Hovden. Let's give our super stock drivers a nice round of applause, folks. Man, that super stocker don't want to leave the line, I'll tell you. Mr. Hofstad are having some problems up there with the executor right there. I'll tell you what, folks, these super stock motors are going to be just a little bit uh, defiant due to the cool temperatures outside tonight. Uh, a lot of times those guys will get a chance to let them run outside for a few minutes before they bring them into the arena and uh, let them get warmed up. But uh, some of them that don't get warmed up and they sit there for a while, and stay cold, and they are. They've had to fire them up with ether and everything. We need a tow tractor. Apparently, he has broke on the starting line. Our test puller has. So that's unfortunate here tonight for Gilbert Hofstetter. Hope maybe they can, Hofstetter, they can get it fixed and bring it back. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? While he's got everything shut down, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? All the way from Dupo, Illinois, the executor right there. As we attempt to get started here in the 7,700 pound super stock tractors, Bob Schilling. He'll be the first here to establish a distance to be recorded in this class here this evening. All right, Bob Schilling, folks, watch this hyperactive machine go. Here he comes. Man, that International 3688 is on his way. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob, stay in line. Binder Bob, how about it? Let's give him a nice round of applause, international people. Good run. Man, we got an outstanding field of super stock tractors coming your way here in this class, folks, let me tell you. And the 3688 now has just made a good run, and he will be on the, of course, the leader Bob Schilling, and up next will be Jonathan Mears out of uh, Cynthiana, Ohio, with maybe so as he comes to the starting line. Point two eight, two hundred thirty point two eight for Bob Schilling, Binder Bob. Well, Cynthiana, Ohio, they've been pulling for many, many years together, and let's see who has the young Mears on board here tonight, Jonathan Mears.
Well, another 89-30. The Case IH coming your way. Maybe so this time. I know there's maybe baby. There's a bunch of them out from the Mears family here out of Ohio. Jonathan Mears, folks. Point two zero. 228.20 for Jonathan Mears. I'll tell you what, every one of these guys are rocking and rolling and riding rough, I'll tell you. They are really riding rough here tonight in the competition. They are shake, rattling, and rolling as they come down the track here with that 1066, the mechanical bull. Kind of smell that clutch or brakes right now, a little bit of smell coming out of that tractor over there. But your leader continues to be at this point, Bob Schilling out of Valmir, uh, Illinois. Valmire, Illinois, the big leader right now. Bob Schilling, and in second place currently we have Jonathan Mears. 17.06, 217.06. Then it'll bring up Bushnell, Illinois' Fistful of Dough and Daryl Bedwell. All right, Daryl Bedwell on the starting line. The first John Deere of the class here tonight. A fistful of dough right here, folks. And I'll tell you that when you have a super stock tractor, that is probably the truth. Not only the, the, the reference to John Deere and the dough, but I'm telling you, the dough that you had to spend on one of these super stocks, man, oh, man. One of the most expensive classes out here in the farm stock tractors, of course, is super stock. And we bring him to the line right now. Here we come. Daryl Bedwell on the line. Let's see what this John Deere can do against the IH machines right now. And it's all red down here in the winter circle at this time. And here we come. Ouch. Now, I want all you international people to quit laughing. That's not funny. You respect that John Deere down there. Yes, sir. -y. Had just a little bit of problem on the starting line. Let's see if we can put a little more ether down there. Get that baby pumped and ready to go once again. Checking everything. Make sure kill switch is fine. Everything's good. They'll put the ether in there. She's trying to fire, but to no avail as of yet. We need a tow tractor. Tow tractor, please. Well, folks, that's tough luck here tonight for Mr. Bedwell. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Daryl Bedwell. Set to go now with the afterburner out of Connersville, Indiana. <laughs> Gary Gettinger. All right, international people, here we come. Just cause it's black doesn't mean it ain't gonna run here. Oh! Ouch! Man, that compression probably blew that hose right off there in the Charger too, folks. We need a tow tractor, please. We got him covered? All right. Well, folks, international people, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? What do you say? Tough luck here tonight.
Tough luck here. We're getting her. Green light on the sled. So we're ready to rock and roll here with getting her out of Connersville, Indiana. Give him a little more juice there to fire that baby back up. May have done more damage than they think, folks, with the tractor when they fired it the first time. We do need the tow tractor. He's down there, I think, on the side. Oh, we got him coming back. All right. Well, at this time, we'd like to hear from our friends at Zeneca. A word from our sponsor, Zeneca Egg Products. As long as I've been here, and I'll tell you, he got the tractor back together, got a new frame for it, put it all back together, and went right back into super stock pulling. So here we come now. Neil Gettinger, Milton, Indiana. He's up and at him. This John Deere can fly. Let's see what happens. He's on the line. How about a John Deere people stand up and be counted? All right. Man, oh man, right there. He was cooking. I told you, yes sir, you gotta watch this guy. Made a good run. Excellent, excellent run for Neil Gettinger. He was smoking, to say the least. I'm sure we're going to mark that somewhere around a full pull. I don't know what the full pull mark was, but uh, he made an excellent run with up and at him. Point two four, two forty seven, point two four for Neil Gettinger. Two forty seven point. Two four, right. and they really do produce the horsepower once they get the alcohol injection working good. Watch out! Here we come on the line, folks. Here's Dewey Kerr Jr. out of Springfield, Ohio. All right, good run. We'll have to find out whether it's full or not. I don't know if they haven't set a full pull yet or not, but 247.24. 245 will be the full pull. 245 will be the full pull. We already have one out of here on the full pull, and of course that's Neil Gettinger at 247 and 24. 242.31, 242.31, 242 and 31 right there for Dewey Kerr. And he is in the program, no doubt about it. All right. Well, he finished 12th overall last year with the Hawk and you know, he pulled all over the state of Tennessee, pulled in Kentucky, pulled in Indiana, pulled a little bit everywhere. So mostly on the Alabama tour down there along with the Tennessee tour. Well, let's see what happens to Mr. Galloway now as he comes to the line with the tractor known as the Hulk. Your leader, of course, is Neil Gettinger. He leads the way here. And second place, we've got Dewey Kerr Jr. That's the way they stack up right now. All right, here we go. On deck will be Brian Stroud out of Midland, Ohio with Never Enough. And then one tractor also you're going to want to watch tonight is Daryl Meese out of Oblong, Illinois, the tractor known as the Squealer. Man, I'll tell you what, last summer, every place I went, that kid won. I'm anxious to see what he does here tonight, no doubt about it. So we still have uh, two John Deere's and the hyperactive machine of Bob Schilling in the program steer here in the winter circle. Here we go now. 
Robert Galloway. Strawberry Plains, Tennessee on the line. Holy cow, folks. All right, let's do it again. How about it, John Deere people? Stand up and be counted. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. I'll tell you what, these boys from the John Deere tractors have sure done their homework over the wintertime. They have really gone to work. And you John Deere people in the audience ought to be really happy here tonight. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. But we still got a long way to go here. But there's still a lot of green tractors. We got one blue one down there. Also very capable of taking it out of here tonight. Remember, the full pull is 245 feet. That makes a full pull. And it is official. Robert Galloway, full pull here tonight. Gary getting her a full pull. We're going to have a pull off. No doubt about it. Oh, little problem with Brian and never enough. We'll take him back to the line here in just a minute. If you've got a program over there where Frank Scott was and you saw him over there, hey, stick your hand up in the air. He wants to give you a chance to win some bucks. No doubt about it and a nice t-shirt. So we take Brian back, we're gonna give him another chance. On deck, Daryl Meese in a whole time casting, and then we got Denny Hayford and Marvin Hoyden. Hoveden, I'm sorry, to finish up here tonight in the super stocks before we go to pull off. And we still have a, roughly five tractors with a shot into the pull off. Well, folks, it's a guessing game and problems here tonight for Brian Stroud out of Midland, Ohio, folks, I'll tell you. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Let's give him a nice round of applause. What do you say? Especially you John Deere people. Butch, let's see if we've got, a, let's see if we've got another contestant over here for the soybean game. Who wants to play? I'm going to got some prizes. Illinois, watch this little John Deere, folks. I was at several pools this summer where he won. Let's see what happens to him now. Another alcohol burner. Here we come. Whoa, look at the tar spit on that baby. Oh, man. Boy, I tell you what, he maxed out, no doubt about it. He was running super, super good. The Meese Farms, the question is, did he make it or not? Well, we'll find out for sure. He needed 245 feet to go into the next round here, more or less. Daryl Meese, Oblong, Illinois, the tractor known as the Squealer. Forty-one and forty-two. Two four one point four two. Right there. Major Deer, folks, out of Franklin, Indiana, Mr. Tom Casting and his John Deere machine rolls to the starting line. Ready to have at it here tonight. So far, we've got Galloway and Gettinger with full pulls here. Both the guys on John Deere's. Here's another good running machine. Came to the Farm Machinery Show. He finished fourth in the Wednesday night performance. Saturday night, he finished on second in 77 Super last year. And uh, well, let's see what happens to Mr. Castings here tonight. The Hoosier Deer, folks. Oh, the question was, and we got a lot of liquid coming out of the front of that tractor, folks. A lot of liquid, folks, coming out of that tractor right now. 
We need a tow tractor, please. Tow tractor. Butch, I'm over here in section 112 now on the other side of the stadium. Still about the 50 yard line. And we want to find, do we have any contestants that want to play the soybean game with us here? Any Ford tractor fans in the audience? All right, well, here's a good one to go. Denny Hayford now, he's been pulling this, uh, he's been true pro super stock puller for a long time. He rolls into us here out of Cary, Ohio. That's up in the, a uh, little bit farther in the northern part of Ohio there. And uh, let's see what he does now. So the Ford ready to go here. Brand new skin, brand new tracker basically here. He uh, showed it last year down at Chapel Hill, Tennessee. The program down there last year and made a good run. Here's Marvin Hovden now. He'll be on right on deck with the uh, Iowa-based machine known as the Woody. He'll be the last competitor here in the class before the pull-off. And at this point, we have two, but we certainly like to have maybe three or four in the pull-off. So let's see what the Ford does. This Ford is very, very capable, folks. If he gets it just right, look out, sand pile. Here comes Denny Hayford. Right there. Let's give that him a nice round of applause. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Excellent run for the lethal injection number two out of New Holland, the New Holland machine right there. Denny Hayford, folks. They made a good run. Awfully, awfully close, but I don't think any cigar on this run here. But he made a good run at it, no doubt about it. We'll see. Just a little bit short, I think. I don't know, Donnie Middleton, he might have made it. You never can tell. Could be third anyway, still hanging in there. One tractor to go, Marvin Hovden out of Decorah, Iowa. Your last puller driving Woody. He'll be coming up. Butch, as we get down to our final contestant here, down here in section 132 down along the bottom row, want to find out if anybody's been studying that soybean ad because I've got another cash award to give away. We got any players down here that Happen to know maybe the answer is which soybean product do bodybuilders use regularly? He's been studying the ad, I bet. Looks like you're a t-shirt winner too. He had the soybean ad right in front of him. Answer was right there. Sorry, you don't get the award. Okay, here's our next contestant, Butch. Here we go, Marvin Holden on the line. We'll give you the pull distance here of Denny Hayford. And Marvin picks it wrong coming out of the gate. And right there, well, Denny Hayford pulled 243.11 with the Ford, and that put him in the number three spot. He went number three, and he'll go to the finals on Saturday night as the third place man. The fourth place man will be the machine of Dewey Kerr at 242 and 31. We still yet have the pull off coming between the Hulk and Up and Adam. Those will be the next two coming to the starting line in the pull-off. And up first will be, of course, up and at him. Point one nine for Marvin Hovden. All right. All right, so we definitely got our fourth place man, and that is Dewey Kerr, so we know who he's gonna be number four, obviously. And then we've got uh, third currently, Denny Hayford out of Cary, Ohio, with lethal injection number two, the 8670. And now we've got to decide to pull off here between Robert Galloway and the Hulk, the Galloway's Auto Parts machine out of Strawberry Plains, Tennessee. Up and Adam will go first, and then we will run Galloway's and the Hulk. Once again, this is the first night, of course, the National Farm Machinery Show Championship Tractor Pull. 
We hope you're enjoying it, ladies and gentlemen. We're enjoying and bringing it to you here. Once again, my name is Butch Krieger, along with Frank Scott. And uh, we've been around here a long time, and we appreciate it. Once again, we'd like to thank the Fair Board for having me back again for the 1997 uh, year. I certainly do appreciate it. And uh, I hope to come be coming back many, many years. Lord's the good Lord will let me. And uh, we sure enjoy this sport of uh, truck and tractor pulling, no doubt about it. And uh, we hope to uh, be back with you for many, many years to come as long as we continue pulling here at Louisville, Kentucky in the National Farm Machinery Show Championship Tractor Pull. Uh, Dewey Kerr Jr., known as Plowboy's Nightmare, that's that other uh, alcohol burner, or the only alcohol burner there that'll be coming back again on with us on Saturday night so far. We take four out of this class. Well, there'll be another 77 class coming up. We'll take four out of that also. Well, folks, let's give him a nice round of applause. That's the distance to beat here. Right here. How about a John Deere, people? What do you say? Give Neil a nice round of applause. The 4010. Up and at him. And one more tractor to go. The Tennessee based machine of Robert Galloway here in the pull off. And boy, that John Deere is hot, no doubt about it. He was a little bit hot before he got to make a run. These super stockers, I'll tell you, they get hot, folks. They get real, real hot. Danger is 195.54. 195.54 for Neil Gettinger. All right, we have placed the orange cone on the left side of the track. Now, if the front of the sled, not the tractor, but the front of the sled goes past that orange cone, that there's your winner right there. That will be the winner. So you see the orange cone where we have placed it. We try to line it up as close as we can to the front of that sled. Remember, the Hulk was here last year. He made some good runs here, Galloway. Made a good run and good showing here at Louisville. He's come back even stronger this year. We have some good Tennessee tractors here again with us this year in super stock. And uh, well, let's see what happens now as they come to the line, ready to come at us one more time here tonight in super stock. Once again, the driver here, Robert Galloway. Mr. Robert Galloway from Strawberry Plains, Tennessee. And we get ready to fire him up and bring him to the line. All right, John Deere having a little bit of being just a little bit contempt, a little bit contrary right now is what I'm trying to say. Finally, she has come to life. Watch the cone, folks. The front of the sled goes by. You've got your winner. The front of the sled, and you've got your winner. Just pass Mr. Photo Joe over there, and you've got the winner. Here we go. Robert Galloway. I know his family's here with him somewhere. They gotta be going crazy again tonight. Yeah, you hear them cheering. There they are, all up in 2, 338 up there tonight. Welcome. All right, here we go. Got her all set. He nails it. Here he comes. This is for the marbles. Oh! Mr. Gettinger. Wow. Well, he's not disqualified. He still finishes second. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? All right. Well, I tell you, Butch, that was a wild ride there.
And the way the uh, 14 in the class break down, finishing up 14th, Gary Gettinger uh, breaking on the starting line. We had several of those. Daryl Bedwell also breaking on the starting line, be credited with a 13th place finish. Finishing uh, 12th, Gilbert Hofstetter finishing up at 12th. And then finishing 11th, Brian Stroud with the uh, Never Enough. Finishing 10th, Tom Casting and uh, the Hoosier Deer. And then finishing ninth, Marvin Hovden with the uh, Woody ninth. And then finishing up at the eighth place spot, Thurman Munford Sr. Finishing up at seventh, Jonathan Mears. Hyperactive and Bob Schilling finishing up at sixth. Daryl Meese finishing up in the number five spot. And Dewey Kerr Jr. finishing up at fourth with Plowboy's Nightmare. We'll meet the top three in just a few moments down trackside with Butch Krieger. Well, Neil Gettinger, I'll tell you what, it's been a while since you've been here, hasn't it, buddy boy? Yeah, I haven't won here since 85, but I was second last year, and I kind of backed into this one tonight. Yeah, you sure did. You got a little bit lucky, didn't you? Yeah, I blew an ejector line on that first pass about 200 feet, and we tightened it up, and, and it just didn't hold for the pull-off. But uh, I, like I say, I backed into it. I'd like to thank Zeneca and all the people for coming out here tonight. Most of all, I want to thank my brothers, my, my family, and all my friends for putting this tractor together. We just started on it four weeks ago, and, and we did a lot of changing. You guys did your homework, I'll tell you. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give your winner. He's very gracious, folks. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Neil Gettinger, how about it? And once again, our trophy pretenders tonight, Mr. Bill Toll, representing the Kentucky State Fair Board and his good-looking grandson, and Bob Lund representing Zeniga Ag Products. Are we waiting for a tow tractor to pull him back or? No, okay, broke guys, all right, all right. Well, let's go down here and uh, we'll quickly do this interview. And we may want to bring Denny right on through there or whatever, so. Uh, all right, Robert, what do you got to say, man? You had it going? Getting her was broke. Did you know he was broke? Well, he had a little problems back there. He told me he did, and, you know, I tried to, if I could have helped him, I would have helped him. You know, I'd like to run it, but I guess I should have moved the weight up, and I didn't. But, you know, that's just part of tractor pulling. you got to take it all, you know. We understand. Well, you know, this, I was talking, we've been talking all day about the track conditions. This Louisville track is tough as ever, isn't it? Oh, this track's tough. It's about the toughest track I've ever seen here on Wednesday nights. You know, it had a lot of good moisture in it, but, you know, it took a lot of nose weight, and I should have probably moved another 100 up on the front, but... You know, I'm proud to be here, and I want to thank Zeneca and all the tractor pull committee for even having me here. You know, I just appreciate it. Well, congratulations. Your friends are all up in 338. They're real happy for you. They're waving at you up there. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Robert Galloway, Strawberry Plains, Tennessee, right there. And once again, our trophy presenters here, Mr. Bill Toll, representing the Kentucky State Fair Board, his good-looking grandson, and Bob Lund, of course, from Zeneca Ag Products. And we got one more to go here, and that, of course, is, and I've been stand corrected, this is not a Ford, folks. This is a New Holland. Okay. Denny Hafer, congratulations. Thanks, Butch. I think the, one of the last times we met, I think I had a new motor in when we was down at uh, Chapel Hill. That's exactly and uh, that motor lasted till the last run last year and uh, threw the rod out the side. I hydraulic the motor. Well, we went back and we put the latest and greatest Genesis motor in it and uh, first run, I was very, very nervous. This is the, uh, uh, you don't get any more nervous than that. Well, congratulations and uh, looky here, for being nervous, you get to come back Saturday night. And I'm going to try to improve it a few spots. <laughs> okay, well, you got three days to fix it up there, bud. Let's give him a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Denny Hayford, ladies and gentlemen, out of Cary, Ohio, on the New Holland 8670 right there, folks. And once again, our trophy presenters representing the Kentucky State Fair Board is Mr. William Toll and his grandson and, of course, Mr. Bob Lund from Zeniga Ag Products right there. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, once again, a word from our friends at Zeniga.